Today I'd like to talk about how to use Extra Records Cthulhu in Studio One. Cthulhu is a core generator and arpeggiator made by the same company that made Serum. It's a really cool uh, way to come up with fresh ideas that you may not normally come up with because of the way that it helps you kind of randomly generate different sequences or different chord progressions uh, it's it's really useful for uh, enhancing your creativity. It's pretty, I wouldn't say straightforward to use. It's it's easy to use once you know how to once you know how to use it. Um, and there's a couple little things to know inside of Studio One in order to get this thing to work right. So if you don't know what a chord a chord generator or arpeggiator is, essentially, it's a it's a piece of software that allows you to feed a synthesizer signal into it and then it generates you know either chord patterns or or, or arpeggios or, or some sort of, sort of sequence of notes for you so you would use this in conjunction with a synthesizer in this particular example the synth that i'm using is this uh tyrell n6 uh, i this is a really cool uh synth it's free uh, i will i'll link to it below um, it's kind of, I, I like it cause it's kind of got that old, old Blade Runner feel. Uh, it's, so it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, so, but this is the synthesizer that I want to feed into Cthulhu. So, the, so Cthulhu, like I said, it, it can, it does two things really. It does core generation and ar arpeggiation. And you can turn those off and on with these buttons here in Cthulhu. Uh, it, it's also, it also kind of, it t generates a tone to help you test notes and you turn that off and on here with this speaker button. Um, I, I keep it turned off and just use the synthesizer sound because this is not, this is really just a test tone. So you, you um, it's, it just doesn't sound that great. So, so the first part of, of this that I want to talk about is actually the chord generator. The chord generator allows you to play one note on your keyboard and have it basically play a whole chord for you. And it comes preloaded with all these chord presets uh, and additionally you can purchase or get additional chord presets from third-party uh, vendors uh, so, but the, the the chord presets that it comes with are you know like all these bot corrals they're, they're really cool uh, and I, I loaded one up and I wanted to show you how this thing sounded but to get this thing set up what we need to do is we need to tell Tyrell the synthesizer that the input into Tyrell is going to be the Cthulhu. So you have to set the, the input here to Cthulhu. Then what you have to do is you have to turn the monitors on for both, both these channels in order to get this to really work right. For Cthulhu, Cthulhu is where you're, it's going to take the, the MIDI input. So here I'm going to tell it, I, I'm going to actually hit the caps lock button. It's going to it's going to load which is going to load up the qwerty keyboard and then in cthulhu i can set the input to the qwerty keyboard and you can see you can watch as i'm pressing each one of these buttons here that a whole chord is going to be generated and so the, it, all, you, all I'm doing is hitting, you know, one note uh, on my on my laptop keyboard, but uh, the full chord is being generated by Cthulhu. If I turn this uh, this uh, this pitch on, that's in Cthulhu. You can hear kind of what that sounds like. Let's see if I can turn this off. So it's kind of just a test tone. It's not really. It's it's really just there for testing. So we can leave that turned off and use the synthesizer sound. And that's essentially how you um, how you set this up and in Studio One. Uh, again, you need to make sure that the input of your software, of your soft synth is, the, is Cthulhu. And then of course, Cthulhu uh, is where you would record your, um, your actually, in, your inputs. So here you'll see, I'm gonna use the MPD controller to create a progression. I have a, I have a beat kind of loaded up in Geist. And he, here's, here's just kind of a demonstration of how easy it is to just hit come up with chord progressions just hitting one notes using an MPC controller.
So now that we have that recorded, you can see that Cthulhu recorded all those all those chord stabs that I that I was that I was playing. But you can see there's only there there are only one note stabs here in Cthulhu. But you can actually get that blown up to the to a to a full chord on a MIDI track if you just hit record if you record this uh, sequence from Cthulhu back down to Tyrell. So what you want to do is on your synthesizer you want to hit the record button turn off record in Cthulhu and then it's really simple you just hit the record button here in Studio One and you'll see actually let's do this let's open this let's open this guy up so you can see you see this kind of happening in, in real time So now we'll see Cthulhu actually writing to the grid here, writing to the piano roll. So that's that's a pretty handy feature to have. The, the next thing that you could do here is you could take so yet now you have your now you have your chord stabs, but if you want to take these events and start to merge merge these events together, for example, um, you know you can just highlight these in in um, in Studio One, right click on it and choose to choose to merge these events, and then it becomes like one one long line instead of a stab. And I went ahead and actually did that on one of these uh, earlier so that we, we, we wouldn't spend all the time just merging all these events. Because what I want to show you is if you, if you merge those events and then you pull that, you pu you pull that back up into to Cthulhu, now we can use the Cthulhu arpeggiator. Because the arpeggio won't, won't work as well with, uh, with chord stabs, but it will work with, with long chords. So if we listen to how it sounds just with long chords now. It doesn't really make sense, right? So what we want to do is we want to turn the chord off and we want to use the arpeggiator now. Now the arpeggiator will go through and, and pick notes out of these chords and essentially arpeggiate it. So we can mess with, a, there's a lot of options here and I'm not going to go through all of them in this video uh, for Cthulhu. Um, that's maybe a subject of another video. This one's more like how to set things up. But just know that you have these options to do different things with arpeggiation within Cthulhu. Actually, let's, let's go ahead and put a loop here. That way we're not having to repeat ourselves manually. And so you can change how the arpeggiator works here. So with these, with these, uh, you, with the note select here, you can tell it what what particular note of the chord that it should be playing on this on this when it hits this part of the grid. Um, you know, if you have it all the way down here, you're going to hit the lowest note in the chord. This you go up one, it goes to the second highest, second lowest note. And it keeps going up the up the chord um, here until you get to like basically like a full octave. And you have some other options here, but just by messing with that. get a lot of different uh, sounds. You get this random select, which does basically what you think that it would do. You can tell it 
tell a different octaves. So that's essentially what Cthulhu does. Uh, it's, it's a pretty neat tool. It definitely opens up some creativity. It helps you come up with chord progressions you might not normally come up with simply by the fact that by being able to play just one, one note at a time and having a full chord come out, it frees you up to play in a kind of dynamic and rhythmic way. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.